This evening, Democrats are strategizing for how to capitalize on Senator Isaacson's soon-to-be vacant seat. We continue our team coverage with Faith Dubuque, who spoke with some of the Democratic Party leaders this afternoon. Yeah, Jeff, the first thing out of anyone's mouth today has been thoughts and prayers for Senator Isaacson, and that's certainly the same message also coming from the Democratic Party of Georgia tonight. They tell me they wish the senator well with his health problems and thank him for his years of service to Georgia. Now, as far as the sen and senator's open seat right now, the Democrats see it as the gift they weren't quite expecting. Obviously, we, we are as surprised as you uh, that, the, that the news came over this morning. I feel great about our bench. I feel great about our ability to win. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited uh, for, for folks to, to jump in and, and turn the state blue in 2020. That's Scott Hogan, the executive director of the Democratic Party here in Georgia. He says the next steps for their party is to amplify the work they've already been doing, trying to raise money and increase their staff and reach out to as many voters in the state as possible before Election Day. So far, there's no obvious Democratic candidate for Isaacson's seat. Stacey Abrams, for example, who many expected would jump in, released this statement through her spokesperson today saying she's focused on her voter protection efforts and will not be a candidate for this seat. So who will the Democrats put forth for this seat? I asked the executive director of the party that question 10 different ways. I understand certainly why you would, why you would want to know, and, it, and it's not something that, uh, that I'm obviously going to dive into today. Um, I will help whomever uh, wants to, uh, you know, take that, that big leap uh, in, into the arena, if you will, um, and, uh, and I'll make sure that they are supported as we possibly can support them. The party won't come out with a name. Um, and I think that that is very important to, to emphasize. Uh, individuals will run because they want to uh, better society and, and help uh, push Georgia forward. Uh, and, and I'm excited to see uh, who's interested and when they jump in, it's my job as executive director to make sure they're supported. And that's their position. They're sticking to it. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we spoke to a political analyst about who has the best chances to win Senator Isaacson's seat, the Democrats or the Republicans, and what the Democrats could consider doing to pick a candidate. That's coming up at 6, Jeff. Faye, hey, thank you. We are gathering reaction from many Georgia politi politicians on Senator Isaacson's retirement. You can find those on our 11 Alive news app.